The amount of land that's been dedicated for palm oil has increased exponentially in the last sort of 40 or 50 years. So there has been a lot of deforestation. And with deforestation, of course, there's loss of biodiversity. <laughs> Humankind has got a big challenge. By 2050, the world's population is going to exceed 9 billion. Uh, to feed that number of people, we're going to have to double the amount of food that we're producing today. We have to close this food gap in the next 30 years, but we can't do that by clearing more land for agriculture. With that need to increase our productivity as much as we can, we really need to boost the yield of the individual palms that you see around. So that led us into many different projects on how we can get the most productivity we can from the land that we have. With that in mind, we looked to genomics as, as a way to do that. And it took about seven years of, of sort of basic research that enables us to, to look and analyse the DNA of a palm and to predict how good the yield will be. You can't separate science from innovation. Two years ago, a Sam Dabi plantation has embarked in a, into a project called Genome Select. What this project is entitled to do is to screen for high-yielding planting materials for oil palm. We have used all the information that we know for the past seven years of studies from the genome information uh, to understand where are the differences lies in regards to high-yielding materials versus low-yielding materials. Genome Select is about 15% higher yield than our previous best planting materials. Um, commercial yields for oil palm are around four to six tonnes of oil per hectare, but these palms can produce um, above 10 tonnes of oil per hectare. If we can realise those kinds of yields across all of our planting environments, we can close that yield gap by 2050. Once Sandabi Plantation has the over 300,000 hectares of land that we have planted in Malaysia, planted with Genome Select, the amount of additional oil that we can produce is equivalent to 50,000 hectares of land that wouldn't need to be cleared. Oil palm has got a lot of challenges. It's not going to be easy. If we continue to be passionate about where we want to end up, I think we'll get there.